Hello YouTube and welcome to Fortress Craft. You heard right, Fortress Craft, going back to the old roots. Now I've got this nice lovely capture card. I thought it would be a good idea to, you know, give Team Yuko's channel the proper send-off. Not a lot of you guys only know me as Team Yuko. Before that, the channel used to be Zombie Saddle Maniacs, where me and my friend Damon were having a video competition. We used to like record videos of each other, upload them to each other's channels. And we were seeing who could, like, get the most subscribers and views or whatever. I ended up winning that. But, um, that side, one of the videos I wanted to do back then was a tour of my Fortress Craft world. But I didn't have any kind of record. Well, I had a dazzle, but it never really worked. So I took a few screenshots, uh, and that was it. That's what made up the video. And people actually seemed to like it a little bit, the few people that saw that video. So I thought... I'm going to do an actual tour. Uh, I haven't played this game in a long time. So if there's, there's been updates on it. I don't know if everything still works. I hope it does. But um, I don't remember a lot of my own world. So I'm touring around my world for myself as well. But um, I do remember this starting point. For completely filled with snow. Because uh, when, when you first enter the world. The first thing you see is this. You see uh, Zero there. And Light Yagami. There's the Hull over there. Behind them was like Zero Suit Samus over there. I, I remember these. There's a lot of pixel art in this world. Like, not your general run of the mill, uh, like, you know, Bob over there. I just like Bob Bobble. But, um, you know, I, I decided that I would do pixel art of the kind of things that no one ever does. Characters that I know that no one else does, or like things from obscure games from the past. And, you know, I, I like to think that my world was at least very different from other things. There are a lot of things here that other people have built, like down there, I just see the boo. Uh, I never built that, but I have put who built them there, so at least I'll remember. Let's go touring then, shall we? Um, how do you stop flying? There we go. How do you get in this? There we go. Let's take a ride on the little minecart thing. We have the love wall there, the first things ever in my thing. I don't, I don't know if they were going to write love. That's just how the wall ends up. Someone else built that. There's the Pringles man. He's pretty cool. Well, there's a lot of little adventure places as well that I've hidden around, like in there. Oh, the speed up in there. There's a Naruto over there. Uh, the, oh, there's a fish, I think. Some Space Invaders cube. Something in there. Another thing that's in my world actually is an Easter egg hunt that I have. Um, there's like 150 Easter eggs or something ridiculous that I've hidden all around the world. Oh, there's Matt Smith as the Doctor. Um, and I might actually do that, I might do that in a separate video, I'm not sure. Um, oh, there's Con from Bleach. I didn't make that either, because when, when they first built that, I did, I'd never even heard of Bleach. And they, they, they asked me if I like it, and I was like, is it Parsley the Lion from that like TV show from the, 90, like, the 80s? And they went, what? It's Con from Bleach. And I was like, oh. Apparently I say it wrong, apparently it's Con. But I've, always, I've only ever read it, I've never watched it, so... Yeah, um, we are in Tesco's at the moment, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that, but, um, oh yeah, apart from the, um, eggs, I also uh, hid these jiggies that I built all around the world as well, because I love Banjo Kazooie. There's also a load of Zelda references, uh, there's, like, oh, there's an Easter egg, uh, there's, like, three Zelda dungeons here, well, not, like, dungeon dungeons. I was actually building a dungeon, I was building the Great Deku Tree from the Ocarina of Time, which I don't think I finished, but I'm gonna go check that out at some point. That's pretty cool. What the frig is a Oh, some cups. Are we going through the checkout now? We're going through the checkout at Tesco's? <laughs> uh, the mind of me. I hope I fit through this. I don't look like I'm going to. Um, oh, cool. I can glitch through the wall. Oh, off we go. There's a frown from Final Fantasy XII and a chow there. Fantico Tower. Oh, actually he goes inside. Jesus Christ. I'll probably come back and explore the tower later. Man, this minecart goes all around my world. I do not remember it going this far. Oh, does it go to the prison? I have a feeling it goes to the prison. Here's the prison I was talking about. And I believe it stops right in front of Ouija. There he is. There's Ouija, the man. Uh, and there we go. <laughs> Just get a nice picture of Ouija there. I know here's my Nyan Cat that used to be the opening to my world, but then everyone started having Nyan Cats. 
and I didn't want to copy everyone else. So I didn't want to get rid of it, so I just moved it so everyone didn't think it was uh, generic. Here's the leak fight. I remember this. Miku versus Farfetch. The epic leak fight. <laughs> uh, good times. Uh, here's Hiro Nakamura from Heroes. It's one of my favourite things. He's pretty cool. It, uh, from close up, it looks pretty bad, but when, you, when you're like really far away, it looks really good, actually. Oh, God, I can't go that far away, Ronnie. Um, here is Jirachi, which someone else built for me because obviously, well, you don't know, but my uh, Xbox name is Joe Jirachi fan. So they knew I, this friend of mine I had on here knew I liked Jirachi and I didn't have one in my world, so they built one for me, which I love and it's all to pieces except for one thing. They did the creepy eye Jirachi. I don't know why, I always put the eye on the stomach, it's creepy. Uh, it's Philo from, oh, what's that game? Uh, Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings on the Nintendo DS. Michael Jackson doing the thriller there. We've got Mr. T. I believe he is pitying the fool. There he is, pitying the fool. Uh, what's down here? Oh, that's... I was just writing the block height of the world down there. Now, as you might notice here, a lot of the floor is flat. I did spend an awful lot of the time playing this game, flattening the floor, because I have the worst OCD when it comes to games like this. Minecraft as well. It's just, oh, ridiculous OCD. Um, there'd be Alley Card. And a Portal Cube. But I do believe you can go inside and there's an easter egg in there. Uh, there's a Homer Simpson that Damon built and Darth Vader. Oh, can I get far enough away from this to see it from this side? No, I don't think I can. I'm sure you can. Can I run on this? Is there a speed up button? No. I'm sure you've already noticed what this is. It's obviously a Fresh Prince of Bel Air, which is awesome, but it's very hard to see because it's huge um, and it's hard to get like see it and have it still rendered. Uh, I think there is as far back as you can go. And the red and the orange does look a bit weird. I think it used to maybe be a different colour when I built this, I'm not sure. But, uh, that's pretty cool. I don't think you can deny that that is pretty cool. Uh, now, down here, this, this ditch has a funny story to it. Um, there was a sprite that I decided to build from the game Blazblue. I literally took a character sprite right out of Blazblue, and I don't know if you've seen those sprites, but they're freaking huge, and it would have gone literally across this entire ditch, all that way down, which is, I can't remember if that's the bottom or not, uh, to all the way to the top, I think it is the bottom, and I never ended up building it, but I wanted to just say that I had the biggest sprite that anyone had, I, I think I still do in Fortress Craft, to be honest, I've got a huge one that I'll get to later, um, how do you open doors? I don't, I don't know. Oh, I deleted it. Oh dear. I didn't mean to do that. Oh dear. Um, oh, oh, hello. Uh, oh, oh god, what did I do? What am I doing? Uh, get out of the house. I'm breaking it. Uh, how do you how do you change weapons? Oh, drill. I don't want to drill. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, world's best builder mug. Uh, maybe. Is there like a nothing? There we go. Let's go over here, shall we? What do we have? We've got Dig Dug and Puka. Because believe it or not, I actually like that game. Uh, Jordan built me this surfing Pikachu here from Pulling Yellow. There's the Plants vs. Zombie Zombie and a Cubone. Uh, someone built me this, someone called Dan. Not Dan, who's ever been on this channel, a different person. I, I never quite worked out what it is. It says 360 on it, and I just kind of figured it was a laptop. I kind of turned it into a laptop, I guess. Because I never really worked out what it was supposed to be. Um, when we go over here, we've got Captain Olimar. And the spiny p Pichu from that one event in Heart Gold and Soft Silver. Uh, we have a pink Yoshi, and we have a uh, nice Chow from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, except for uh, I have her in a pink costume. I don't actually know if that's one of her alternate costumes. As you can see over there is a surfboard mask. There are quite a few of them around. They're just there for funsies. Uh, there is the goat familiar from Castle Crashers, and a Santa Mario. I think Damon built me that one, I can't remember. Um, yes, yes he did. Uh, what do we have over here? I don't know. Oh, right, over here we have the objection. I love this. But this wall behind me, you will not get the joke unless you've played Fortress Craft. Oops, we accidentally, the whole Xbox. This is an error message that you used to get all the freaking time when you were connecting to other people's worlds or just doing saving and stuff. But um, I decided to build a wall in homage to it when they, they fixed the error so that you never got it anymore. Um, what do we have over here? We have Cream the Rabbit from Sonic Battle. It's pretty cool. I like Cream. She's cool. Uh, we have Dawn and a Clefairy over here. Here we have Konata. Who, if anyone who knows me knows, I love Lucky Star. Uh, now, across here, this is the entire level 1-1 of the original Mario game. 
Uh, I think you have to turn on double jump to do it, but it's quite fun. You can just run along the whole level. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. I'm obviously going to go back there, so you'll see the whole Mario level anyway. We have uh, Ray Miyamoto here from High School of Dead. I actually made the sprite myself and then put it into the game as well because I couldn't find any sprites from anything from High School of Dead. So I just made one myself. And considering it was one of the first sprites I ever made, actually, I, I was quite impressed with that. I think it, she looks pretty cool still. Obviously, the actual sprite went down to legs, but it didn't fit on her. Um, then here's the end of the Mario level. It just says, let's go. I was going to put your princesses in another castle, but um, it didn't fit. <laughs> And now here we go, here's what I was telling you about, the biggest sprite that I think anyone has. And it is from, again, the game Blue, but it's not an entire sprite, it's just the uh, top part of it. It's the character Hazama, I think his name is? I haven't played Blasmo in ages. I used to refer to him as Jack Clark, because he just reminded me of uh, my friend Jack, or the Yu-Gi-Oh! Musketeer, as you might know him. If you've played Blue and if you've watched his videos, you might see a possible connection. You also might not, because you probably don't know much about either of them. There we go, there he is, Hazamara or Jack Clark, uh, along with uh, Chirame Mincino, is it his English name? I still call it Chirame to this day. Built that before uh, Black and White even came out. Uh, back here we have, I'll go to the other side of them, uh, I have some uh, sprites of original Pokemon cards, because I love the original Pokemon training card game. It's pretty cool, there's an Arcanine there as well, just for good measure. So we have a uh, Magma, that's the Fossil Magma, and we have the Jungle Kangaskhan. Uh, I believe this is the base set Abra here. If it loads, oh no, it's base set Machop. My bad. My bad. But yeah, I really like the art of these. Obviously, I got these from the Pokemon Trading Card game, the uh, Game Boy one. Ah, oh, here's the Abra. I knew there was an Abra around somewhere. I think I have Aerodactyl over here. Maybe? Maybe? Mm, yes. I mean, it's Aerodactyl, obviously, but it hasn't loaded yet. Give it a minute. Uh, and there we go. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's a little guru over here. Now, I do believe there was a hidden area I put over here just to troll people that has um, Naruto using sexy nujitsu and a Playboy bunny symbol that I just hidden in the corner of my world that no one ever found. So uh, I can't bother to go over there because the guru is getting a bit mental here. Probably because it's trying to load all this. So I'm going to go away from this. And Oh, it's Hyrule Temple. Here we go. Here's a nice thing. Now, what you know when I was saying I don't... Well... In the description, it'll say something about me thinking, uh, I don't think everything works. Uh, Hyrule Temple is made out of custom blocks, and some of the custom blocks broke. This is a wall. It's not invisible. Um, this used to look amazing. Now, it kind of looks like shit, because a lot of the blocks have gone invisible. But, you can just imagine, if I have a picture of it somewhere, which I hope I do, I'll show you. Uh, the picture, I'll put a picture on the video. See, look from the inside. It's, I don't know why it's broken like this. But I had the free... Oh, one of the spiritual stones is broken as well, the red one. But I had the free spiritual stones in there. And then I never did the back room. So instead of that, I had... Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just clicked on a block. Um, ah! I don't, I don't want these blocks. There we go, I'll hold this instead. Um, I had the free piranha plants. Just fucking the way there. Uh, what are they called? Uh, Bucca... Uh, I should really know what they are, being a Zelda fan and all that. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, here's Kirby from Smash Bros. It's pretty cool. And there's uh, this was to make inside the toilet time. Obviously, you didn't see it because it's broken. Uh, can you see it actually? Oh, you can. The little pedestal where you play the uh, summer time on, to, or te where you teleport to it. I made it in big so I could then copy and make it a small thing. I left it there just because. Uh, I have a rainbow dash here. Uh, no, I'm not a brony. I made this before I ever had even heard of that term. I got called it once, and I was like, what, is, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, um, I never want to get rid of it, because it's here. Yeah, I never get rid of anything here. Here is the uh, bathtub in the sky. Don't ask. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and over here is my tribute to Bleed Man. Uh, you might have not heard of him. He's a Doshinji artist. He makes this really cool uh, Doshinji about Powerpuff Girls. That sounds really weird, doesn't it? But it's really awesome, and um, I decided to just, like, theme this. I still read it to this day, actually. Uh, I haven't seen Dexter in it a long time now, I think about it. He hasn't been in it recently. Bell's been in it a lot. Oh, my controller's disconnected. That's no good. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, he hasn't been in a long time. 
But there we go. I think I was making a Dexter's Laboratory down here as well. I don't think I finished it. I can't remember. I'm going to have a look so I can find it. Uh, oh, that's just an egg. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. It was behind him. I was planning on building this as a Dexter's Laboratory kind of area. I never really finished it, but uh, it's got these cool uh, little lightning things to make it look like sinister. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that was something I never finished. Oh, hello. There's computers here. Uh, some stairs up here. Oh, there's a jiggy. Cool. Some like speakers up there. Yeah, I never finished this place. I wish I did, but you know, life got ahead of me or whatever. I stopped playing this game a long time ago. Oh, come on. Uh, one second. And I have changed battery packs. Um, as I'm uploading this straight from the recorder, I just realised I won't be able to cut that bit out. Huh. <laughs> um, well, let's go to the Great Deku Tree that I was talking about. I do believe it's over here. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Uh, let's go into it from the entrance. I can't remember how to get to the entrance. I think, yeah, just go down here. Um, let's go on the floor so we can walk there. Am I walking? How do I, how do you walk in this game? I don't. Oh, oh god, what have I done? What have I done? Oh dear, oh, oh, help me. Oh, there we go. Oof. Uh, there we go. Are we walking yet? How do you, how do you, how do you walk in this game? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, let's turn the flying off, shall we? That'll work. Right. I've only got one jump on. So you go down, and you enter the great Deku tree. We've got the uh, Deku Babas. Ah, oh, that's so cool. They're called Deku Babas. There you go, I remembered. Uh, oh, good. oh dear god. Oh, I've fallen. Oh, help. Yeah, uh, oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, there's the spider web. Um, you can just walk through it because the game is not that advanced. There's the three Deku Babas in the place that they are. There's little plants that you can chop down. Uh, let's climb up the vines here. There's smaller plants you can chop down there. Um, go around here. The vines you climb up. There's a treasure chest there. Uh, I can't remember what I can get in that one. I think it's just the compass. There's the vines to climb up there, but I obviously never made the floor above this one. Um, so you can jump around here. I think you need the double jump on to get over that. Uh, jump boots on. Oh, whoops. Oh, well, yeah, there's this bit here. You could have climbed up around here, as you do in um, Zelda. And there's actually the heart across this bit here. I even made the little rotating heart, which I always thought was really cool. Uh, oh, poop. Oh, damn it. <laughs> it sucks that I really suck at this, doesn't it? <laughs> well, let's just go back there. Um, so I do believe there is a door over here. Now I've got to try and remember how to open doors. Um... Oh god, I've selected it. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, X. Ah, there we go. Open the door, and out we come. Uh, so yeah, I'll put the flying boots back, uh, the jetpack back on now. Oh, night vision, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> right, let's continue, shall we? So yeah, there was the great Deku tree that I was planning on building. Uh, huh, there's an egg up here. Huh, I don't think I ever would have found that. Yeah, um, I put up to where the Great Deku Tree... Oh, there we go, it says up there how tall it was going to be and where the floors were going to be here, but I just never... Again, it's one of those things I never finished. I really wish I did. It's not going to be one of my favourite things if I ever did finish it, but obviously I didn't. So, um, there's Left Dead Hand there. I think that looks really cool. Um, there's Crash Bank over here. It's with Diamond. That guy Dan built all, the, all these weird things. I don't know what they are. There, he built them. <laughs> um... So yeah, there's these three seagulls that are chasing uh, Crash Bandicoot, who looks like he's about to kick Amy Rose in the face. Yeah, um, speaking of the Zelda secrets, let's go show you one of them, shall we? Um, so you, if you go in the block of cheese, and you go down here, um, there is a short little path. Um, and then, as you obviously notice, something's up here when you see the bricks. Uh, go down here, go around here, and voila la 
It's a fairy fountain. Yeah, it hasn't really got much to it. There's a couple of these in there on there because I was just kind of trying to imitate like the original Ocarina of Time. I really wanted to have like the whole Ocarina of Time just in my Fortress Craft world. <laughs> Hence why I started a bit working on the Great Jackie Tree, but uh, that didn't go very well. And some lightsabers. I think Jordan built. Oh no, that Dango built them. Jordan built the um, Batman symbol. Stewie Griffin took forever because his face is so freaking huge. Uh, the Lime Rider guy, there's a red there, there's L, L's logo there. Some popcorn, I don't know why Stewie has popcorn, he just does. There's an extra Tails Life and the Blue Castle Crasher here. Uh, just come on this side, there we go. Um, what else do we have over here? There's L again. There's the Family Guy TV. While I was building Stewie, that dang guy was in my world and he decided to build this TV that said Family Guy on it. Uh, and so I built the portal person coming out of it. There's a Daffy Duck there and Bomberman. There's a chessboard I mean Jordan built. This is pretty cool. There's a little maze. I'm coming off the dirt, but there's a maze under here to get to an egg. If I do the Easter egg hunt, I'll, uh, I'll show you that. There's Jolteon there. Uh, there's the Sparta. Uh, the name, King Leonidas. There's also Shiki here from The World Ends of You. Yeah, I have a lot of like random things here. You, most people probably have no idea what they are. Uh, I think all three of the Animaniacs are actually in my world. There's a uh, Yakko there. Oh uh, yeah, Sparta. Uh, it's Balfia, to go with a Fran from earlier. I don't know why I didn't put him next to Java, I just didn't. Um, there's a ginger bearded Indiana Jones, uh, Harry Suzyama. We got uh, Pit Boy there, Timmy Turner looking very unimpressed. Um, there's Tinkerbell who's been chained to the floor for some reason. Um, there's this Middle Fingers guy here that that, that dang guy built. I don't know who it is, but I always really like that. Uh, musical note, this weird creepy bowling ball guy. Um, we have the Hogwarts crest here, which I, I quite like this one, it's pretty cool. Uh, we have Lilo here from Lilo and Stitch. And this world, there's so many more things in than I remember. Uh, there's a snowman, the lighthouse, uh, there's this weird alien guy that someone built me, there's Professor Layton, there's this weird duck thing. I don't remember, I think it was the Dan guy, this is the best thing he built, he built this weird duck with this egg, just like hatched on the floor, and I really like this, it's cool. Um, we've got a uh, cuckoo from Zelda down here. We've got a chocobo over here. The sleeping Kirby, the Kool Aid Man. There's Ed from Ed and Neddy. Uh, we've got one of those little shy guys. We got a uh, princess Pikachu. No, uh, white magician Pikachu. Hey, white magician Pikachu. You know, from the um, that Yu-Gi-Oh series I did. Uh, the only other Yu-Gi-Oh things over here. There's Doodle La La La. There's the uh, British series Karibo. Um, this here is like this cool temple thing that, uh, Jordan built. This is one, another, I suppose you could call it a collectible. I put these high dive spots from the Assassin's Creed games, uh, all over my world. And each one is like on a really high location and goes down to a pool of water like that. Um, oh, we can go down here, right? What's down here? Oh, hello. That's pretty cool. I've got Muriel there. Um, there's some snowy stairs. I have no idea where I'm going right now. Oh, it just comes out down here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've already been over here. We've seen kind of terrible, haven't we? Uh, oh, there's Gordon Freeman over here. I haven't seen him yet. So there's Gordon Freeman that Jordan built me. And there's a uh, Mr. Saturn. There's a present here. Uh, there's Hamtaro. There's the first dungeon from the original Legend of Zelda with Link walking into it. Uh, we have Ness in his pyjamas. Demi Devimon. Uh, the peanut butter jelly banana. The tank. Back to Lahal here. But we haven't seen a lot of the world yet, so don't think I'm done. Um, we have Scott Pilgrim, uh, the Ghostbuster symbol, the Irish Nyan Cat, and the, what is it, Mexican, do I have on this side? Yeah, the uh, Mexican Nyan Cat. <laughs> I don't know why I have those, but they're pretty cool. I don't know how these lights are in the sky, I think there was something built there, and yeah. Uh, have we seen Batman yet? Because Batman and Scott Pilgrim were in the wrong, because uh, before there was a move tool, a cut and paste tool, uh, these two were around the wrong way. Scott Pilgrim was over there and Batman was down here, and he had like this whole top of his head cut off, and it sucked. So I ended up moving them both. But yeah, where Bob is here, there's Bob on the other side. I know they're kind of generic, but I really like uh, Bubble Bubble and Buster Move, so whatever. Uh, we got Kiro from Card Captors here. We have the DeviantArt Man. Oh yeah, that DeviantArt Man. Uh, um, we've got Rydia from Final Fantasy IV. Uh, Jordan built this Ang, but he built it too close to the top. With this weird gold pillar thing next to it. Uh, that dang guy built this aeroplane slash rocket. I'm not quite sure which one it's supposed to be, but whatever. I gave it a little runway anyway. Uh, Roll from Marvel vs. Captain 2. 
over in R2D2 down here as well. Uh, we have Rapide uh, from Tales of Vesperia here. Uh, over here, I do believe we have Lelouch, Viva Pratania, from Code Geass. Uh, then here we have, uh, what's his name? Noah Bennett from Heroes. Oh, actually, I've got two Heroes characters. It's kind of impressive. Uh, over here, before Noah Bennett was built, I was planning on building the um, Houses of Parliament. I'd actually started working on the Houses of Parliament, hence why there's a British phone box here. And now we're about to see one of my favourite ones. Uh, you say Fudo. He looks pretty awesome. Took a little while. Speaking of my favourite ones that are huge, I'm sure you can already tell how huge this is. This here would be my Neopet from back when I was a kid and I used to play Neopets. Draggy the Shoryu, it says right there. Here he is in all his glory. Pixel for pixel. Man, this is probably one of my favourite things here. And I don't really play Neopets anymore. I go on there on the other occasion just to feed him because, you know, he was part of my childhood. I, I still love him, even though he's like a virtual pet. He's like a Tamagotchi, you know? Uh, Zoe from Left 4 Dead there. I don't really like that one much for some reason. Uh, I don't know, it, it kind of looks like she's got her trousers pulled up too high, like a Simon Cowell. <laughs> um, oh, Gru's got the walls again. Might take a little while to load. Big Prinny over here from. Um, Disc Gear. I never really played the Disc Gear games. I played one of them, but it was in English, and I'm not a big fan of Disc Gear in English. <laughs> I love the anime in Japanese. Uh, Half Minute Hero. I believe we have him twice. For some, yeah, there he is. We have him in retro mode, and on the Xbox they released an updated version of the game with nice newer graphics. So I made him from the newer version as well, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, we got Nibbler from Futurama. We have Luigi with his Hoover from one of the Paper Mario games. Uh, over here we have Lucario, Magikarp, and Charizard. Um, and then we've got Hunter, who's sitting on top of Tesco's. <laughs> we've got the Hyrulean symbol there, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have Dark Magician Girl over here. Uh, what do we have over here? Oh, we have the Model Town down here. Um, how, what button was it to open the door again? Is it X? Because I do believe there is something hidden in here. Yeah, so yeah, I remember my own world. These bricks make me think maybe it's a fairy fountain? I can't really remember. Well, when you're flying, the controls in this game are terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 another fairy fountain there. And two of them there. I don't actually remember where they all are, I just remember, I don't know how many there are either. This video is going on for quite a while. I, uh, so if you're still with me, um, comment Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. Because you're about to see the rest of them, the Animaniacs. Uh, we have the N64 and PS1 logos here, and there's uh, there's Wacko, as promised. Ooh, a dive spot, or not? Um, okay. <laughs> um, we have a parking lot over. I think this was copy and pasted because I was testing out the copy and paste tool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the parking lot from uh, Tesco's. Yeah, that's like the parking lot from Tesco's. I think it was just copy and pasted. Uh, down here was the first town that I made. It was uh, Fred and George's house. This one's Fred's house. And this one's George's house. And then there was Taj's store that sold everything, including laser beams, Xbox 360 consoles, fridges, eggs, heart pieces, lamps, uh, one-up mushrooms, ladders, and bananas. <laughs> um, and then he's got a plant back here. And you know, yeah. He used to have a widescreen TV, but I ended up getting rid of that. Um, and you can go underneath George's house, and there's a road. Because I actually have a road that spans my entire place as well. Uh, this road goes all the way around here. Do, do, do. Um, there's also a path off the road here that you can walk in. It's pretty dark. There's some lights in here. Some like, gem crystal lights. And there's a bridge that goes over that road. I don't know why. It's pointless. There's nothing there. But obviously I was planning to do something with that. Because I was trying to make the whole world like connect to each other. And, you know. Oh uh, yeah, there's some eggs in there or something. So yeah, the road comes around here. What's down here? I don't even recognise this. Ooh. Um, piranha plant. I think I've just found myself another fairy cave. Oh yeah. Oh, this one's got a jiggy in it. Sweet. <laughs> I am pro. I've got three fairy fountains now. I don't know if that's all of them. It might be. Because Zelda obviously works in freeze a lot of the time. I didn't even remember that was there. Um, let's go back up here up the road. There's the Chow and Fran. 
Uh, we got the Doctor there. We have Mari from Drawn to Life. Uh, we got Santry. There's Dot. We've seen him all now. Uh, there's Zero Suit Samus, looking pretty cool. And Naruto. Uh, we have over here, uh, Hero Klongo saves Te World from Fantasy Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. And I said I made some random references. You better believe I made some random references. Uh, there's a maze under there between the links those two. I can't bother to do it now. Here's a Space Invaders cube. You can go inside it and whatever. Um, what do we have? There's some stuff down here somewhere. Oh, there's the slime from Rocket Slime. Uh, there's is his name Mr. Cheese, I think. The old Pizza Hut um, mascot. Or oh, more notably known from uh, Code Geass. And we have Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty Shrine hidden away over here. <laughs> uh, oh, it's a jiggy there. Um, oh yeah, because you can get to it from up here. I can't remember what was up here. Oh, a castle. Yes, we have a castle up here. Uh, there's like a fireplace in the castle. Oh, we do still have the widescreen TV. I don't know why I took it out of, a, out of Taj's house. Uh, there's a very pink room. And there's a roof with a great British flag on it. Um, so what haven't we seen yet? There's a swimming pool with a pill in it down here. Yep. <laughs> nope, I have no comment on that. Um, what's through here? I think originally, uh, water, you didn't need to be a placeable block. So I had a piping system spawning from the water all the way in the middle. Which I had to blow up stuff to get it going. The water used to flow from all the way from there. because. But then you could obviously place water blocks afterwards and it made all my hard work seem kind of pointless. But, um... So yeah, there's that. Uh, I believe... Oh, I, like that. I believe there's a path to Damon's house around here somewhere. Couldn't tell you where, but... What the frig? I do not remember this. Uh, alrighty then. I don't know what that room was meant to be, but... <laughs> it's there. It's a thing. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure his house was near this. Ah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Uh... Oh, the next straight away when you come in the house. I believe if you look up here, it's actually below the lighthouse, which is pretty cool. Um, so we go down here. Uh, we have a bumblebee room, a ladybug room, and a spin rack room. <laughs> I don't know why he has but I made him bug rooms for his house to get out, but I just did. And then it comes out to this weird crevice. Uh, it was jiggy. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, that leads out over here. Right, let's go visit the other half of the world. Yeah, we're still not done. If you're still with me at this point, just kudos. Well done for sticking this out, man. Like, Jesus. Even I'd have got bored by now. There's a pound sign bush over here. There's a dollar sign bush there as well, yeah. I think he tried to make a euro one and it didn't work. <laughs> um, so I think it's this way I've got to go. Oh, I feel like that's right. I know there's a place I haven't done yet. Um, I could follow the Mario track, I suppose. Um, there's this uh, duplication of the house that was over by Will Smith. We've got the tank over here. We have Yui Hirasawa from K-On! Here. Just rocking out. This here, this really shitty thing here, was the first thing I did because I didn't know you could like delete things. <laughs> so I, there was this floating island and I turned it into what I thought looked like the death egg. That was while it was still a trial version of the game. And I also made a sun somewhere. Uh, there's the sun I built. And I also built on another island the Master Emerald. <laughs> I didn't know you could delete islands. I was like, ah, oh, it's floating islands. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we have Patrick Star here. There's a little uh, first, second, third place thing. There's Captain Jack Sparrow as well. Um, we've seen Hero. There's uh, Milo. I do believe Ilo is around somewhere as well. From the game Ilo Milo, in case you hadn't worked that much out. Um, there's like a big long path down there, but there's no point visiting it. It's not really very interesting. Um, well then, I do believe I may have shown you everything. Oh, Fantico Tower here. Yes, now this place actually has a working elevator. Well, it's like a... Oh, I replaced it with a ladder, apparently. Right, cool. Uh, it used to have a working elevator. Oh, when you touch a ladder, it turns off your bloody flying, doesn't it? Oh, you know what? We're going to have to walk it then. I'm going to walk it. Uh, let's look around downstairs first. I do believe there's like a computer room in here. Like for all the office staff. 
and then there's a uh, like a cook room over here, like a kitchen, more office staff, and there's a thing you can stand up here and look out at the lovely view, the moon. And the thing I was doing with this tower was, because uh, you can have friends join you and build things in your world, I want to have as many as many friends come into my world and build themselves a room. So I put this arrow above the door if the room is still for rent. So the first floor there's got no one living in it. Um, let's go to the second floor. I think the second floor has people in it. Uh, that one's got no one. That one's got no one. That one's got no one. No. Oh, okay. Second floor also has no one living in it. <laughs> um, third floor. This has got to have someone. Here we go. The green room. I believe this was Damon's room. Yes, because he had the sofa. Really bad sofa on the uh, balcony there. Or was it? Yeah, I think it, I think that one was Damon's room. No, actually, it might be that guy Dan's room. I'm not sure. But yeah, anyway, there's that. Uh, <laughs> best room ever, right? Uh, fourth floor. What have we got? What have we got? Um, no one, no one, no one, and red. Oh, it doesn't even have a door. Fancy. Is this my room? It's could well be my room. I do like red. Oh no, this is Jimmy's room. This is Jimmy's room. I remember this, because he had the pet piranha plants. Yes, this is Jimmy's room. Uh, I linked to his YouTube channel, but I don't know it. <laughs> Jimmy, if you ever watch this somehow, I don't know how you'd find it, but... Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, I've come back to the same floor. Man, the freaking camera when you're walking up a ladder. It's terrible. <laughs> I'd forgotten I haven't played this in so long, how bad that was. Uh... Uh, uh, I think I'm on this floor. No, I'm not. I'm on the floor that has a hole in the window. Uh, oh yeah, this person put some lamps up there. I think this was Jordan Atfold's room. Or, no, it wasn't. Uh, this might be Jordan, as in the Jordan you've seen on this channel's room. Yes, this is the, yeah, it's the stat Jordan room. So, Smith Bassett. I don't know if he cares if I give out his last name, but whatever. <laughs> um, this floor has absolutely nothing. John decided to get a floor on his own, like with no floor on either side. Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! Ah! Oh, fell. Fell down a ladder. I don't know where I am now. All uh, right. I think that was the floor I just did. So let's go up here. Um. That is my room. It's got the Triforce. It's got a chair, a computer, the Xbox set up to the huge TV. It's got the pink closets, pet piranha plant, a fridge, an apple, banana. And I do believe there's a hidden jiggy. Yep. So there we go. I'm telling you that's my room. Is that actually out the floor with me? Oh. Alright then. Not oh, many more floors to go, I don't think. I can't remember. I don't think anyone's on the floor above either, is there? No. Wow, I didn't have many people moving to Fantico Tower at all. I do believe the name of this came from a name of a tower in Fallout 3. Gold block. This is Jordan Upfold doing. He was obsessed with the gold block. Like his whole world in this game was just gold blocks everywhere. And he decided to put a chain in his corner. His room is very bland. <laughs> but yes, that's that is the famous Jordan Upfold doing. I believe this is the highest floor. Because I believe Jordan was so stupid he decided to build his room directly underneath someone else who built a room. But they haven't put anything in their room, so it, Oh no, it was this room. Yeah, this is Toby's room. Toby, who had a balcony. And John Upfold just said, Oh god! Oh, that, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> um, ow. But yeah, he decided to put his. Uh... Oh, okay. Uh, let me change the video again. Uh, he put his room right below someone who has a balcony. It's like there's every room available, and you choose that one. Uh, so there was a rooftop, some air comms, there was like a bullet bill over there, and I do believe there was a attic up here for Pantico Tower, a really dark one, and some hidden secrets in it. The, pretty much you obtained the attic if you got the top floor, and to get the top floor of Pantico Tower, all you had to do was finish the Easter egg hunt. I say that as if that's easy. It's not. <laughs> um, who's this? Oh, it's our Well... This, oh Jesus Christ, I have been recording for 40 minutes. Uh, this is why I was originally building Conus, by the way. If you're wondering why I was around school uniform, I could know any fair I had there, so I just left the school uniform there. So I thought, eh, it's cool anyway. Oh, there's my, uh, there's Ilo. I told you Ilo was around. 
Um, this has been Joe Girachi Fans Fortress Craft World, a video that has been due on this channel for well, at least two and a half years now, I think. So yeah, um, glad I finally done it, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to do the Easter egg hunt video, because this video took a long time. I don't really know if it's worth it, because no one really wants to watch it. I might want to do it just to say I've done it. You know, I'm not like I'm ever going to delete my Fortress Craft world or anything, but... Whatever, you know, it'll always be there on the channel. Someone might find it one day and think, man, this is really cool. But if anyone does like my Fortress Craft world, enough that they actually want to play in it, right, and you want to do the Easter egg hunt, I am up for that, and I will happily record your attempt to do the Easter egg hunt if you would like to do that. I very much doubt anyone would. I very much doubt anyone still watching this, except maybe Damon. Hi, Damon. Um, but yeah, my awesome source, Fortress Craft world. Uh, I'd say my favourite things are probably uh, Hazama. This Kirby here, uh, the Left Dead Hand, um, Draggy, the Shoryu, that's got to be up there, uh, Yusei, um, I think that's about it, my favourite things. Maybe Light Yagami, I'm not sure, he's pretty cool I guess. But... Oh and the Chicken, the awesome sauce chicken, I can't forget him, he's awesome. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I guess we'll end on the Deviant Art Man because who doesn't love Deviant Art, right? All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you are still watching, and I will see you in the next completely well overdue 